Hey guys, this is Darren with East Woodland Survival. We're going to continue on today with part 8 of our fire lay series. And I'm going to be talking to you today about the cross ditch fire. It's a pretty simple little fire to do. Um, it doesn't really require a lot of effort for this one. You can pretty much use any type of fire lay on top of this. And uh, the whole premise behind this type of fire is to, to really pull air up underneath the fire to get it going really good and hot quick. So let's walk you through that. Now depending on how big of a fire that you're wanting to build, you know, is going to depend on how wide and how deep your trench needs to be. For this demonstration, we're just going to use a small ditch. I'm going to come in just with a stick. It's been raining the past few days, so the ground's pretty soft. We're just going to kind of form a little bit of an X here. Sorry, I had to adjust the camera a little bit. I'm going to try to clear some of this dirt out of the way. As you can see, we just kind of have an X. It's about 18 inches long. Try to adjust the camera a little bit for it. About the same in width, about 18, 20 inches. Right now the wind is pretty dead. Uh, it's pretty much nothing right now. Uh, so uh, this this is uh, actually a good good time for this top fire lay. And uh, what we're going to do is I'm just going to build a small pyramid just over the top of this, and. Uh, Pyramid fire, and I think that's fire lay number seven. I think <laughs> going back in, just going to do a really simple fire, really quick. And I'm putting it directly over the top of the uh, the cross here, the X. And like I say before, one of the advantages of having this log cabin base is it's going to keep this up off the ground and uh, keep it from getting really wet. Got a mosquito hanging around. He won't be around for long. Get this fire going. Okay guys, now I'm going to put my tinder bundle in here and uh, what I've done so far is I just made a few small feather sticks. Now I did have a few people ask me about feather sticks on my YouTube channel and guys I'll do a video for you as soon as I get finished with this uh, fire lay series. So I'm going to put that in there, and I'm also going to add in a little bit more tinder, uh, some birch bark tinder. Some birch bark. A uh, little bit of this goes a long way. The great thing about using birch bark too as a tinder, uh, it's just a really good renewable type of resource too but if you look at this stuff it's got oil in there and I don't know if it's showing up on camera or not but that is burning black you can see the smoke coming off of it burning black I hope you guys can see that it burns hot it burns quick Okay, we're just coming in with our pyramid on top. Trying to beat a thunderstorm again.
Okay, guys. Let's just take a piece of this birch bark. Fire it up. Oops. Fire it up. Drop it in. Let's see what happens. Didn't really drop it in there very good. Should catch anyway. gonna leave it alone you can pretty much see there's not a lot of smoke or not I'm sorry a lot of wind right now Now one of the great things is, is this thing, when it starts to go, is going to start pulling oxygen, and it's going to be pulling it from different directions all the way around this fire. Now, with a log cabin, also having all the airspace in it is also really good for fire because it's getting plenty of oxygen. This will should collapse down up on top of the uh, the pyramid here in just a few minutes. And guys, this is Darren with East Woodland Survival. Hope you've enjoyed this uh, video series. And I uh, really appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate a lot of your feedback and comments. Uh, I've enjoyed interacting with you. And i got a couple more of these in, uh, in the series. And uh, then we'll be done. So thanks for watching. And I hope to see you in the woods.